Hey guys, this is Under Cover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be talking a bit more about Line of Sight's new mode, Battery Hour. As always, if you guys are excited for some Line of Sight Battery Hour gameplay, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, and it would be fantastic if you could join us. So if you guys don't know, Battery Hour is coming to Line of Sight, a free-to-play first-person shooter on Steam. The Battery Hour part of Line of Sight will be a new mode within the game, not a separate game altogether, so all you need to do is download Line of Sight on Steam, nothing else. The rollout for this mode will be as follows, a closed beta, an open beta and then full release. The closed beta and open beta may involve downloading a separate client, however this hasn't been confirmed at this point. Currently applications for the closed beta are open, so if you want to go and apply there is a link to the official form below. Now there isn't many slots for this closed beta, as this period is meant to be exclusively for testing, feedback and tweaking to go and get the balance right. On top of this, there is a non-disclosure agreement, which means you can't post any gameplay to YouTube, no posting screenshots, and you won't be able to share information about the mode to people that aren't in the closed beta. The reason for this is simple. A closed beta is meant for testing. There's going to be bugs, issues, balancing problems, etc. And if the closed beta is some people's first impressions of this mode, they might not like it, and they might be looking at the bugs and the balancing issues and think, oh, I don't really want to go and play this game, without considering that the gameplay might be actually really, really fun. So if you guys want to be a part of this closed beta period, there's a link in the description below to go and apply. Now after this closed beta period has ended, then comes the open beta. We don't have confirmed dates for the open or the closed, but when the open beta comes it will be open, everybody, everybody can go and try out this mode and contribute their feedback. Now for how long these open and closed betas will run for, we're not 100% sure, but when the open beta stage has been completed, it will then be available in line of sight itself, and hopefully through this three stage process there will be a lot of refinement. I personally really like this method because it isn't rushing the mode out, it's working carefully with the community to really shape the mode before it goes live to everybody. You have a look at Realm Rare, another free to play battery hour game on Steam and it's definitely a lot of fun, but the developers high res, they just pushed the game into early access so quickly so everybody could go and play it, but they didn't have a solid direction for the game. So every patch is so fundamentally game changing that every time you go and hop on, you're being faced with basically a different game. Then you compare it to the way Blackspot's doing it with a closed beta, and then an open beta, and then live servers, and you can really go and nail down the direction, you can go and iron out the issues, the bugs, the gameplay issues, whatever, in the closed beta phase when not too many people playing it, and you can go and get a lot of valuable feedback, versus iron, iron out those issues if you just pushed it to the live servers. Now obviously, if you just pushed it to live straight up, you would get a lot more hype, a lot more people playing, but in the end of it, you want your mode to be good. So with that said, I really like the approach Black Spot Entertainment is taking with Line of Sight Battle Royale, just taking it slowly, making it sure that it really goes through the hoops that it needs to before it goes to the live servers. Now with that said, I wanted to quickly go and talk about Line of Sight and in particular its gameplay in the context of a Battle Royale mode. Now, as we all know, Line of Sight is a relatively fast-paced game. You can go and bunny hop basically around the map, as you can go and see in this gameplay, and it is a really, really efficient me method of getting a lot of movement speed. So, it's really fast-paced, and the time to kill is relatively low. So, you put all of that together, and the game's pretty frantic. But then it also has the twist, that twist being the superpowers. Now, in normal team deathmatch, search and destroy gameplay, etc., I'm not the biggest fan of the superpowers. The non-lethal ones, alright, they're pretty cool. You can go and do dashes, you can go and get extra movement speed, etc, etc. The lethal ones, I'm not the biggest fan of the fireballs, etc. Because in the end of it, there's so many people just clustered together that it gets really, really frantic. But in the context of a battle royale mode, it actually makes a lot of sense. You have a look at Realm Royale where it has a very big emphasis on the abilities and that might be a little bit much for some people. They want maybe more gunplay than that. And that's something that Line of Sight goes and, and provides. The gunplay 
is the majority of what you're going to be doing. A lot of movement-based mechanics and then a lot of shooting. But, but then you would also go and have these abilities as well that you can go and use just to go and mix up the gameplay a little bit, keep it fresh. And I feel like that is a really cool slant to the battle royale genre that may really go and just freshen things up. Now, obviously, if there is a big emphasis on the superpowers, that might be a problem because people just want to go and shoot other people in a battle royale mode rather than playing World of Warcraft 2.0. But if you guys get what I mean, that it's giving a little bit something else, I really, really think that this could potentially be a really fun mode to go and play. But as always, we're speculating before the mode has even come out. I haven't played it. Nobody's gone and played it besides the developers. So all in all, we can't wait to go and see what Black Spot has in store. Now, before you guys go and leave, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button below so you'll be the first people to go and see some Line of Sight Battery Hour gameplay. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to go and hit that like button and comment in the comment section below what your thoughts are about Line of Sight Battery Hour. Bye for now, it's Adam the Cover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.